new unsettling details about the firearm used to murder those officers on Sunday. District Attorney Bill Fitzpatrick is telling us the gunman's assault rifle had an illegal magazine clip that held 40 rounds of ammunition. The law in New York allows for 10. Connor White's live outside the home in Salina with new information on what he's found today. Connor. Matt, Megan, still a very active crime scene. If we go back to Sunday evening, parents had to take their kids out of bed in other homes on this block and get to basements, taking cover as dozens of shots rang out in just a matter of seconds here on Darien Drive. Now, we carefully edited the video that you're about to see, but the audio of that gunfight is going to be in this report, and we warn some viewers it may be disturbing. We spoke to a number of nearby neighbors over the past few days. There are similar accounts. At first, a sound like fireworks, deliberate, somewhat slow pops, then a moment of silence, then thunder. <laughs> Dozens of shots in the span of just eight seconds. So many, we couldn't keep count. Listen again. Based on the timeline from police, this was when 33-year-old Christopher Murphy came to the street and fired at officers. Police returned fire and struck Murphy. The video captures what appears to be Murphy down in the road, with officers checking on him and putting him in handcuffs. Then, a moment of panic and anguish. As an officer begins to run back towards the house, noticing that Syracuse police officer Michael Jensen is down in the driveway. Onondaga County Sheriff's Deputy Lieutenant Michael Husak was already shot. The sheriff saying he'd been ambushed while taking up position behind a maple tree in a neighbor's backyard. That was the first slower round of gunfire neighbors described hearing. He was on the deck the entire time he was shooting, shooting at Lieutenant Husak. Uh, he left the deck, ran to the front of the house where the uh, Syracuse police officers were. Investigators are still looking to see whether or not the rifle itself was modified. But again, we've confirmed through the sheriff's department that that magazine held 40 rounds, which is four times the legal limit in New York state. As for the other weapons that were recovered from the home, they were found inside gun safes on Tuesday. Deputies say that it's going to take some time to work out whether or not those were legally purchased and registered. We've heard from a lot of neighbors on this block who say that they knew the family, that the father was likely a hunter. We're working to confirm that officially as well. Reporting in Salina, I'm Connor White. Appreciate that insight, Connor. It's troubling about the power of that weapon. 